Hello and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. Uh, it's the second episode of Couch Concerts. A new way of going back through my collection and finding a suitable excuse to uh, review concerts and DVDs um, sitting on my couch watching a concert. Because that's the only way we can do it. So uh, part two, I'm taking a look at a recording which is... A bit of a, a bit of an unusual one. Um, it it kind of I don't know it confuses my mind uh, a little bit. Uh, it's by one of my favourite bands um, of all time. I think one of the most renowned uh, extreme metal musicians, uh, frontmen of of all time. I am of course talking about Tom G Warrior, Triptychon. And Requiem. This is with the Metropole Orchestra, and this was recorded and performed um, live at Roadburn 2019, Tilburg, Netherlands, April 12th, 2019. So, this rather nice package uh, comes complete with. A DVD as well as the CD um, and some incredible artwork there of course no longer featuring artwork by HR Geiger who um, rest in peace is sadly no longer with us uh, but did a lot of uh, well the, the previous artworks for Triptychon um, their two albums of course and this one is a, is an interesting one because although it's Triptychon, quite clearly, it's a it's an idea that um, Tom had and I believe um, expanded with Celtic Frost. Worked on primarily originally was Celtic Frost um, of this this rather large epic musical piece um, Requiem. It does tell you all about it in here. Um, I won't so much go into the you know the depth and the detail behind the conception of requiem i think if you want to find out about that it's, it says it in here and there's plenty on the on the internet about it so i'm a, as i said a huge triptychon fan um this is not a it is a triptychon release with an orchestra but this is not like their their two studio albums and the uh, the Shatter EP that preceded that. This is um, a far more orchestral, musical. It's very complex, and it's still even though this has been out for a while, it's, it's still one that I I I don't know how I completely feel about it. Um, I will give it its credit that this is a. A very very unique and very interesting piece of music. Um, it is divided into three parts, three chapters. You can see there, uh, one, two, and three. Um, overture, transition, and the finale. Now, uh, Rex Ire or Ira. I I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong and gonna despised by the Triptychon community um, and fans. I'm, I'm one of you, I promise. So that is a is a far more involved, um, interesting piece of music. That's the heavy bit. Uh, it has a, a, a female vocal contribution. And I, off the top of my head, I can't actually remember the, her name. Um, I don't know. I'll have to find out. Um, but the vocals are really interesting. Uh, Tom is providing vocal contributions as well. Um, Requiem co-lead vocalist Safa Haragi Haragi Haragi. I'm sorry, wrong pronunciation. I'm close-minded. So the vocals are really interesting. There's lots going on. There's almost like a, a interesting duet conflicting vocals uh really layered really dynamic piece uh vocally 
musically, it's very, very interesting. It's very progressive. It's all over the place, really. It's it's really interesting, I think is the main word. It's very technical. Um, it has got a lot of depth to it. There is a lot of depth to this music. It, it's Triptychon. It's Tom G. Warrior. It's going to be deep. Expect depth. This should come with a deep water warning. This is deep stuff. Uh, by the time it gets to um, Grave Eternal, Grave Eternal uh, Chapter 2, that is a far longer, protracted, mainly um, percussion and uh, orchestral piece. It is very, very dark. There's a lot of atmosphere to the whole thing, to the whole Requiem performance. Um, but it is... It's very, very mind-boggling, is a good way of putting it, I think. By the time it gets to the finale, Winter, Chapter 3, again, there's a lot, you'll notice by that point, certainly, that there's a lot of uh, continued um, music, the repetitive music that has come up earlier, maybe a, a sequence of, of symbols or or the drums, or um, lyrics, perhaps, that reappear, and it's melded together as one long piece of music. Even just trying to describe it, it's really difficult. This is one of those things where, if I said to you, this is a Triptychon live album by, you know, of course, written by Tom G. Warrior um, and co., uh, of Celtic Frost fame, you would think crushing, epic, metal, doom, death, black, it's got it all in there, surely. No, it hasn't. It's got atmospherics, it's got technicality, it's got orchestral elements, it's got doomy vibes, or any dark, it's got great riffs in there, but they are not, certainly not the main feature. This is not like, and I stress, this is not like, any other any other release that comes to mind, to be honest, but any other Triptychon or Celtic Frost material. However, you will notice throughout there are certain things from previous um, work of Tom's, Celtic Frost and Triptychon, certain, certain things that reappear, to put it vaguely. So that's the music, and it's well recorded, um, it's clear, it's very big in its sound it's very grand uh the the footage though the dvd i i will say um it's worth a view it's worth watching but it is uh it's very it's very bright of course you've got an orchestra there they probably need to be able to see what they're doing uh, a lot of music to read um it's rather bright and there's a, quite a quite a bit of um static on stage uh of course you know they're playing instruments they, they're not going to be jumping around but it's not really a jumping around striding up and down snarling at the crowd sort of show um all the musicians are on top form the orchestra are incredible but it is quite it's more like watching an, or, uh, an orchestra uh, rather than a black death doom metal band, whatever you want to call them, or however you want to describe Triptychon, it is more like watching an orchestra on stage. And you get that from the crowd as well. They are enjoy clearly enjoying the show, and it's a good show. It's a good show. I'm not saying it's boring and no one's doing anything and I want more, more aggression, more energy. Nothing like that. Um, it is just that it is like more of an orchestral performance so that is what you if you want aggressive and live and all over the stage this is not going to be the one for you but if you want really interesting dynamic diverse music from a very renowned songwriter and um, a music legend then it's worth checking out it's worth checking out and i think it'd be really interesting anyone out there that you know, let me know what you think. 
Anyone out there that's seen it, that's a Trypticon fan, let me know what you think. I'm interested. I want to know what the rest of the, the metal community thinks about this one. Um, the, the package is really nice, though, I will say. Of course, we've touched on the artwork, but there is some, some great, really sinister artwork inside. Don't know what's going on there, but that's dark, and that's what we like. Uh, that's what we expect from the band. And there's lots of cool shots of them, obviously, writing and composing it, and um, all coming together there. Yeah, it's a really cool, cool package. Really good. It's certainly worth checking out. It's worth checking out if you're a fan of Trypticon, if you're a fan of just different, involved, creative music. Check it out. It's worth it. It's just a little bit different. Different isn't a bad thing. So, there we have it. Uh, that is Couch Concerts Part 2. Trypticon Requiem. Uh, live at Roadburn with the Metropole Orchest. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the uh, the blog page, No Nonsense Metal Reviews, and check back soon for more reviews and more couch concerts. Thanks.